Okay, so here we are on a uh, uh, new game with uh, Neff as the first SSB and uh, Duro SVK as the 17th SS. And uh, the map is St. Marigli's Duelist. This is the 90 degree rotation of the map so that it uh, gives some sort of variety. And uh, um, I suspect they'll probably do that with most maps. But, um, but, yeah, so uh, let's see how Neff is planning to uh, deploy his uh, infantry division. And uh, it looks like he's fairly well spaced out uh, across the, the front there, which is uh, nice. And then uh, the 17th SS is a, a mechanized division, essentially a advanced type of infantry division and it looks like he's getting concentrated into the middle now on the south here of this map there is a lot of uh, open space so he is bringing in some uh, uh, b18s here, here into the bottom which is great because the they should be used this long range uh, as opposed to mg same thing with the top here is this map has a lot of open space in the top and an ig18 which he's bringing in right here will be very useful in that regard but immediately there's going to be a, uh, a fight for the town, it seems like, here. And um, what we're going to see is uh, 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 the leaders playing a very important role to, to prevent uh, surrenders here. And what um, Neff is relying on is are these uh, uh, commando assaults with their TNT charge, which uh, uh, are very good close combat. Uh, uh, and... Uh, they are only uh, 25 points. Now, uh, Duro is relying on the, the Stormtroopers, uh, which are slightly less expensive. They are they basically have the same um, HE, which is 18 and uh, 100 meter range, as the Commando Assaults. But the Commando Assaults, see they have 18 as well, but the Commando Assaults have this uh, Satchel Charge here as well, which makes them a little bit more uh, likely to win out. Now initially here it seems like, uh, well this IG-18 gave some fire support in the town, but I don't see if that's just got very lucky to get a slight uh, shide in there. But I don't think that that, SG uh, that IG-18 is going to be able to do much of uh, fire support here in the town. And this Stas Troopin is trying to run down uh, the, the, the retreating uh, sniper team there. This commando assault is uh, coming in the, the 223 here. Uh, so, uh, with uh, only being 100 feet of range, there's really not much that that can do. So, he jumps out the back and probably back in. Now, if that 223 does come in 100 meter range, that satchel charge that the commando assaults use can be used to destroy the 223. The Panzer Grenader here is uh, well, looking in a good position to attack without getting. Uh, Struck back from the commando assault, so he probably should have stayed in that uh, in that house there. Uh, looks like the commando assault did get its satchel charge off and has stunned up the panzer grenaders there, but uh, he is going to retreat that. And uh, looks like he uh, Duros wants to bring that uh, the Stas troop back uh, to do something, uh, but he only has 100 meter range, so it, uh, there's not really much he can do. Now Duro is. Heading out on a fast move. Uh, I'm not sure what he was seeing to be able to prompt him to do that. Or maybe he's trying to come over here <laughs> for the, the. Yes, he is. He's trying to come and get this mortar, which is a great idea. But a couple of extra troops come in here to worry about if they have any uh, um, AT, then he's going to be in trouble. And now he's getting surrounded here. The Centaur uh, is trying to stun up the. 223, but uh, he doesn't have any AP, so it's going to be quite a number of shots. And he does eliminate that mortar, but now it's time for him to get out of there. And you can see, even see the that he is being surrounded still, so there's really not much he's going to be able to do. Now this Stas troop is all alone in the town now, surrounded by assault troops, and uh, we can see them trying to close in here. Now they don't, I don't think they see him. So from Ness' perspective, we don't see that. In order to see him in the building, he's going to have to get within probably 100, 100 uh, meters. So someplace in this trees, he's going to have to get to to be able to see that. So Come this Commando 6 is coming along, so he's Ball just co spotted. coincidentally coming to identify that. So 
Let's see what happens. Where Come on, sir. Down. We know what to do. Try to engage in close combat. So he does see him right when he gets into that tree. And they're going to get stunned up. Now this this leader unit is providing uh, some support um, so that he won't just simply surrender. Uh, he's probably going to get taken out pretty quickly by this commando leader. But no, nope, I guess he makes it. Now the, this hum, Humber Mark III is actually coming up to shoot at, oh, and it takes out the 223. Uh, not a very high AP value on that Humber, but uh, apparently got a good penetration on that time. Uh, the Stas troop is still all alone behind enemy territory, and to be uh, surrendered, he has to be surrounded in near enemy territory in a pin down or a fallback state. But then uh, the last requirement is for one of these uh, units to come within uh, 100 meters of him. Now, I don't know if Neff can actually see him. No, he can't. So he doesn't even know where the Stas troop is. At your orders. But he is advancing to, to be complete with that. And this, there, he's going to get within range. And uh, he's no longer stunned up, but just outright killed. So the town is now within uh, Neff's control. So uh, let's see what else we have here on the map going on. In the south, uh, looks like we just have uh, some uh, Panzer Grenaders and a, uh, a Spa Troop. Uh, looks like that IG-18 that he had down here earlier was taken out, uh, most likely by the Centaur. The Centaur has a 1,200 meter range, so it makes sense that he probably used that against the IG, which only has 1,000 meter range. Probably not much going to be able to go on here, but he is bringing this uh, Stug-3 in here has some sort of fire support, which should be able to take care of everything that is over here. Now the the tank busters are a very good unit, uh, which uh, Dura will have to screen against. Now this Panzer Grenader, I don't think can see this uh, this uh, beacon because he's not in close enough. Now he's going to have to get into probably around here before he can see him. Actually, with it being a recon, with it, uh, he might have to get into here, but the recon was not on return fire so immediately when he got into the 100 meter range he revealed himself which is going to probably get taken out now by these fire support here uh, he is in the, the building which provides him some sort of cover from the the bullets but uh not from the ag uh let's see neff is bringing some wildcats in here to stun up this stuff now the these wildcats they do have uh two five uh he bombs which uh, most people don't seem to like very much, but they do stun up everything, and we can step get the stunned up, stunning it up here. Now, uh, with uh, with uh, Duro in the building, now he is uh, pretty safe from uh, from uh, bullet damage, but uh, the Centaur would be able to uh, use his HE in the building, which uh, he'll be a safe with. He is not around that hedgerow and I, I suspect suspect that's because Neff is worried about this Stug here. There's really nothing that can take out this Stug here except for that uh, AT unit uh, and he's really too far away at this moment too much. Now uh, Neff did bring this forward but there's no way that that 3 AP is going to pierce uh, the the 8 frontal armor on that uh, on that Stug so it is fairly useless for him to do that. Uh, the the Panzer Grenader was taken out there, uh, uh, and I, I suspect that had mostly something to do with the Commando 6. Uh, very good accuracy on those. Now the spot troop should be able to see the Commando 6 as he is uh, moving forward, which he does. But once he gets into that My building, position. he is going to is disappear because of uh, uh, you have to really even with a even with a very high um, very high optics. Uh, you still have to be very close in, maybe within 100 meters to be able to see something like that in a building. And there he does go and, and disappear. Now the spot troop can see the the, um, the vehicles from uh, one, uh, like 1,600 meters range, so so that's going to be reviewed, revealed. Uh, if there was an AT unit, uh, AT gun uh, in this tree line, he would probably still have to be within like 600 meters. So he might be able to see anything probably here for AT guns so that uh, Stug is is fairly safe at the moment for AT guns and in fact uh, what we do see is that it is just a uh, uh, AT infantry right now 
lots of tank busters coming forwards for right now it looks like uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, let's see if that spot troop is going to see where that that AT unit uh, drops off at so, no he can't see it yet but he should hopefully get visibility I guess not the, the, that building that that building right there is blocking his vision so uh, so yeah he's kind of uh, very light now in the southern part of the map see what's happening up north uh, we have uh, uh, Neff making a lot of ground up north uh, looks like Duro really is uh, has some uh, Panzer grenaders holding the front line here if he looks at the front line though he can see that there's probably nothing in these trees and so equidistant to the the Panzer grenader is going to be on the opposite side something balancing out that and you can see he's fighting for the front line so um, uh, there's going to be a, uh, something just behind these tree lines for him. If we go to his view, we can see how probably can't he see anything. He sees that because it was just firing. Um, the Panzer Shrek did take out that Wills MMGG very easily. Now, uh, he was actually in a very good position to have things in this uh, building here because he gets the extra bullet resistance from infantry. But as he advances through the forest, you can see that that front line is is basically steady there. Now he doesn't counter a recon, which the recons do not affect the front line. So uh, now he's in this battle against uh, 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 let's see, uh, 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 the first top to uh, come out to 11 HE at close quarters, in 100 meter range, whereas his Panzer grenaders have 5 HE. So. So him retreating like that is probably a good idea because even though he had the numbers, they still had a superior firepower there. So uh, this recon unit is uh, retreating, which is probably a good idea considering that uh, it's not going to necessarily catch up to him. And there is a little bit of su fire support coming in with this martyr. Now this Piat squad is going to be a good counter to this martyr. Uh, it has a 200 meter range, which really can't reach the road at that point so it might be better to go over into this building here and this martyr is zooming up the road uh, it is an attack move I wonder what he sees to be able to attack doesn't really see anything he has uh, called in some more uh, infantry to come help clear this for us but this panzer grin is an attack move so um, looks like uh, putting uh, those piat squad there that building, as I suggested, would have ended up with the Panzer Grenader getting caught, but it's not doing very much good there. He is bringing it down there, though. Now, from Duro's uh, perspective, he can see that the front line is still right there, which means that anything affecting the, the front line is going to be in this opposite tree line. So he is going to continue to advance. Now, he doesn't know if a recon or an AT unit is going to come in here, but he has encountered this unit here, which might make him want to bring his martyr forward for additional fire support. Being open copy, he, he doesn't want to get too close to enemy infantry, and, and obviously he doesn't know if there's any AT infantry, but it uh, but, uh, looks like that Panzer Grenader is going to need some extra fire support to win out in that fight. Now the AT unit is uh, is retreating back. Uh, it is probably a better place to put in this, this tree line here because it will be able to peek around the corner of this forest right here and still have a 200 meter range, which you can see with that circle there. So if this martyr was to advance to try to come, oh, it's retreating actually. If it was to come around here, um, then it would be, uh, it would be able to uh, provide some fire support, but it would get hit by that Piat, which he doesn't know about. Now the, the tank busters do have two Piats, which uh, people seem to hate on these Piats. Uh, they do have a little bit of extra accuracy above regular Piats, so I think regular Piats have 7 accuracy, whereas these tank monsters have 8. Uh, and there is two of them, so they still, yeah, they, they're, they're worse than Panzer Shrex, which have 10 accuracy and basically 100% chance to hit, but, uh, but it's better than nothing. Now, uh, Neff is advancing him quite far, probably to get into sight with that... Uh, of that uh, martyr which he can't see so he has stopped it that's good because if he just keeps moving he's going to get spotted and uh, might not be able to get the shot off uh, in time usually these uh, these uh, anti-tank infantry are usually best uh, left 
in sight and then have have an ambush as uh, the the um, enemy moves forward. Now, as we see here with uh, Neff, he uh, he is making uh, some attack moves here into the into the forest and along the top. Now, this Panzer Grenader, his attack move is going up this way, uh, and then a shift click, a second attack move through the orchard. Now, he's taking a circuitous route, as you can see. He's going up through these trees and then over, rather than heading straight across, and that's because it's a, an attack move, and an attack move will try to take the most covered uh, route possible. If you wanted to really uh, uh, make that go faster, he could have done a normal move with a shift click attack move over to the orchard. Let's see where that tank buster is. It's right here on the edge, and that pioneer is going to come up and encounter him. Now, this um, this commando support will see him when he hits his tree line, so he will be able to uh, hit him with, uh, looks like about 9 HE, which might s uh, stop him from actually encountering these these tank busters. Let's see what, and the tank busters themselves have very good 100-meter uh, range uh which they are opening up right now to stun them up, but this um, Pioneer actually got off his grenades. Ooh, which the tank puts in the dodge. Now with the, the fire support of this 232, these guys are going to get uh, melted away very quickly. Uh, even though the building is providing some uh, protection, everything is, is unloading on them. Now, uh, Neff is bringing up this uh, tank busters again sure what he wants to do with it at this moment. Looks like it's just going to stand there and get killed. Because once this pioneer lets go of this uh, grenade again, it's going to... Uh, it's not in 100 meter range, just outside. But again, he's going to get stunned up very quickly and he surrenders. So he was in enemy territory, which is the red. And uh, he wasn't getting even close, closed in by, by the Panzer Shrek. So the Panzer Shrek was in 100 meter range. And cause that surrender. Now he's not going to last very long, but he is in uh, the trees, so they can't see him yet. So uh, fast moving up to try to see if he can get a surrender is a very good idea in this case. And there, there's not really much uh, he can see past this tree line, but he does see the, the the front line isn't really advancing far, so he has to assume something is in that opposite tree line. And if we look, we do see one one, one other uh, infantry unit here. Now this commando support, basically down to one man, is not going to be of much utility. And uh, it looks like uh, Duro is just straight up advancing, trying to get that surrender. Now he doesn't see this other infantry here. And it is behind here, but now they do open up, so you can see it. Really not a good place for a pioneer who's best utilized uh, within uh, uh, 100 meter range for the, um, the, uh, the bundle of grenade. Satchel charge, but uh, but he does have an MG and he is like a regular line unit just with that extra advantage. But he could be using a regular line unit instead. Uh, he is coming up here at the top. This uh, 232 is coming around the edge, but he doesn't know if there's anything here or not. Just uh, think there is. No, there is. Well, there is a tank coming up, and this tank is going to demolish that uh, 232 if he, he's not careful. And he is doing a fast, uh, or not a fast move, but a regular move which means it won't stop to try to fight. And uh, um, he is getting on target now with uh, with his uh, 20 millimeters, which is very good. Now that uh, cat just came in to stun up the, t uh, the martyr and uh, uh, threw up this uh, Sherman for infantry fire support. So the Sherman's going to save uh, the butts of this uh, command support, it looks like. Now this, uh, let's see what he's doing with hidden moves here. He's fast moving the pioneers, which is a very good spot because it does come within 100 meters of the tree line here. So that is a very good spot to put him in. He needs to get this uh, grenade out of range of this uh, Sherman because there's nothing he can really do. So it is hidden in the tree line now. So Neff will not be able to see him. Um, Neff wants to bring up closer, but if he gets too close, he could get into Panzer Faust range, which is 150 right about there or Panzer Shrek is going to be someplace around here so he really needs to stop if he's just going to do try to support this tree line here because um, because uh, Duro could bring up a Panzer Shrek which in fact he is doing 
So you can see he's doing the standard move, which means he's not going to take his procured route. He's going to get there as fast as he can. The Pioneer is well placed here in this little clump of trees. And this Grenader is there, uh, well, just uh, holding the front line. And if we go to Neff's point of view, he really can't see anything. Now this uh, this uh, Panzer Grenader, once he starts opening up, or once he starts firing and reveals his position, this Sherman is going to demolish him. So he might be best to get out of line of sight of this uh, Sherman. It looks like someplace around there. But, uh, but yeah, this Panzer Shrek, once it comes into the tree line, he is going to be in within uh, range. It looks like maybe 220. So he's going to get a shot off, but Neff is not going to see that right away. Uh, he is bringing up these um, this commando support to try to cover that. He needs to get it in probably within a 100-meter uh, range right around here. So that clump of trees is perfect for for guarding against that. But he does get the shot off. So uh, that is a critical hit when he deletes the, the Panzer, file, uh, uh, Panzer Shrek unit, but uh, it only had one health in there anyway, so that explains it. But yeah, he got a critical on it, but he got unlucky because it was a uh, driver wounded and then uh, rather than the shooter, and then that, that he just deleted uh, with that fire support. Now Neff is coming all the way across the tree line here, which is a mistake because he's going to get hit by these uh, units here. Uh, looks like... Uh, uh, Duro doesn't realize that the front line is like this and there's a unit up there. I guess what he's thinking is that he can sneak up this tree line and uh, and, and somehow the Sherman won't notice him. But uh, at the moment, everything is unloading for uh, commando support and probably going to get taken out quite quickly. And uh, Neff is retreating him uh, sensibly. Uh, probably take that auto cover off and just either leave him there or bring him up to this line of trees or even better would be this small clump of trees here. But when this pioneer gets seen, he's going to get taken out by the by Neff's uh, Sherman. So there he popped up and right away he's going to get he's going to get deleted. Now. All that fire support within the 600 meter range of the of the machine guns is just going to take him down very quickly. So yep, there he goes. Let's see. Did he kill him all the way? No. So he just disappeared. And uh, what Neff needs to do is just inch this guy forward so he can get within uh, the 100-meter range right about here to be able to finish seeing what that is. And, uh, yeah, he's bringing... And Neff is bringing it a little bit too close just in case there's another um, Panzer Shrek here. He really only needs to be within 600 meters range to get the full fire support. So someplace around here could be perfect. For this whole well maybe around here for this whole tree line to be within 600 meter range is right around here so he brought him in extra close and i'm not sure quite why um pan the pioneer finally did go down now what would be ideal is um is before he brings this uh, martyr around he needs to here he goes he needs to stun up somehow this uh, sherman and fast move this perfect this is he's, he's giving this move order to come around the tree and it could be could be a command it could be an attack move if you wanted but something to get in range and there he hit it and now he's going to, to shoot at and let's see if he makes this kill now being stunned up like that the sherman is not going to be able as accurate uh whereas uh, with the command unit this martyr will be extra accurate. now he's shooting over at a crocodile it looks like so uh his plans kind of went awry there um he did have a really nice plan to stun up the, the Sherman and then come around the corner to, to kill him, but uh, Neff brought this crocodile in. Now with this, um, with this eight, this is a this is a two two one which just has um, eight uh, AP ammunition. There is no HE on there, so it is a anti tank unit of sorts. And so he's going to try to fast move this up top to either get a surrender or to uh, just get in closer and be able to penetrate that armor. Uh, in the front, let's see if he's facing front. See, he's facing front. The front has 11 armor. There's only 8 AP on this unit here. So um, for every uh, every 100 meters less than an, uh, than his max range, which is uh, which is which is 800, um, he gets an extra AP. So he's going to have to get within 500 meters to uh, even begin to penetrate that front armor. So that looks to be around someplace here. So he's not going to do anything but but, um, but bounce off the front of that. So there's a bounce again. So that's just never going to penetrate. And then this commando support came up and 
I think it is an open top vehicle. So he used his grenades and uh, took out that uh, that uh, that uh, uh, unit. Now the martyr is uh, doing a good job on the crocodile. Now the martyr has 1,200 meter range, so he can stay out of range of that uh, uh, crocodile and take pot shots all day. But here comes a 17 pounder, which has the 1,200 meter range as well. So right away it gets revenge there. So max range is the way you want to play both of these kind of units because max range that uh, they uh, the the martyr out distances the crocodile, but then counter was obviously the 17 pounder now finally Sherman came unstunned and uh, and uh, he's probably gonna come back and try to maintain this tree line again uh, uh, looks like uh, Duro does have the uh, the plus one on his side at the moment uh, he managed to take back half the town right now so uh, using some fighters to strafe up some of the infantry in the town and uh, what's really good here is that he's, he has these Nebel Warfers. And these Nebel Warfers are best used when they uh, fire like they're doing up the troops. So they're setting up the troops here. And what he needs to do is use one of his units here to fast move around here and get this surrender. Because when, there's nothing really else here holding the line back. And let's see from Duro's perspective. He can't see anything, but, but he knows that the units are right around here. And they're all stunned up because of this. So he is trying to move the, these units for fast uh, to attack move. Should probably do like a standard move to get them to not stop. But right when they came unstunned, that line went back. So really, what he should have done is fast move this two three two. But uh, the the cancer grenader is stunning that up, and there is uh, another unit back here someplace. And uh, you can see that that other unit is, is not stunned up. That's what's holding the line here. The cancer grenader is advancing forward to try to finish him off. Which is pretty good, but that commando uh, leader, oh no, he doesn't have any more satchel charges. He's depleted with that. But, uh, but yeah, let's see if that pants grenader can finish things up here. If he can get uh, stun on that uh, leader there, he'll be able to get both surrenders because he is within range now. And uh, once that leader is stunned up, he'll be able to push that front line back. Or dead, and that'll be a surrender. Boom, right there. Front line moves forward. You can tell that he's on this and this. There must be something in this tree line in here. And uh, actually, it's firing away right now, so it knows exactly what that is. Now, it, since, uh, since things are, are moving like this in the front line, he's probably going to get that with, uh, with the next unit that he has to worry about. So he can fast move everything. There's that other unit holding the line forward. So he can fast move with one of the units to try to get that surrender out of there. Looks like, uh, looks like Nephis. He's trying to do an attack move forward, which is probably not a good idea considering he's all kind of alone in the territory. Maybe the best thing to do would be, now that he's not stunned, bring this, bring this unit back up to three line. He still has forgotten about that unit and it has, he's doing an attack move, which means he's going to get all the fire placed by him, stunned back up again. And, and if, can, if uh, Duro can actually do a move to this, he can easily get this surrender because the, the front line is way back there. Just needs to move one of these pine, uh, this pioneer up a little bit uh, with a 100 meter range to get that surrender. Here comes an off map artillery, which is going to wreak havoc down here. Um, actually, that uh, uh, 37 mil AA piece uh, is going to be probably most affected with um, uh, the extra damage uh, caused uh, from artillery on uh, AA units. Now it uh, looked like that Royal Marines did get, uh, get did get the chance to escape. So he really, I guess he was uh, Duro was probably focused on some other part of the map and didn't move the Pioneer forward. And this barrage is, is it's like uh, looks like it's that rocket barrage um, that lasts a long time. And so everything is going to get stunned here. And, uh, and now when things get stunned up, the key is to move forward. And Neff is doing just that. He's doing a fast move. He's going to try to. Get all this stuff to surrender just as long as the front line can move forward. Everything is running down. This isn't stunned up yet, so that's not a great idea. But all this other stuff is getting stunned up. Just surrender right there. Hopefully, oh, he died for day. Doesn't wait. You see this? Uh, he's trying to get this fire, this German now to come up and, and do this. This, this pioneer is not surrendered yet. So the 
front line might not move with him as much. Let's see if he rushes in. He try to hit all these to the as best he can. To do that, he's going to sprint good. He doesn't apparently see that. Let's see what he sees. He can't see anything else, but he's just assuming stuff there to surrender. Let's see if this little thing can come through and get a surrender off of this one. This, the, the territory is around there, but uh, still is kind of a surround. Now, get that surrender. Now he's, uh, now he's been raised to the war first. And, uh, but he's lost all... Uh, lost all uh, of his... Uh, of his... Uh, Territory. He's not going to get into the surrender with the territory. Now he himself can be surrendered. So there's nothing really that can happen. Uh, now, the C3 too could pass. He's doing attack, but he did a pass from the fucking real quickly. I don't think uh, right now, his front armor faces as much that this is uh, be able to do to penetrate the future. So he really needs to pass move it. Get any kind of surrender off of it. But uh, let's see what uh, this grenader comes off of uh, me pinned down, and maybe he can get a surrender. Still not. 252 is still trying to get his, uh, surrender. Maybe when he turns the corner, he'll get a side shot off. Yeah, he's getting a side shot now, it looks like. And boom. Nebel Warfers are, are taking out these infantry, that's perfectly what they are for. Um, get them stunned up. Uh, uh, they won't necessarily always get kills unless up here they're standing up. Uh, but if he uh, stuns them all up, he can fast move uh, this 232 up and try to get as many kills as possible. Or possibly with this uh, stern pioneer up to try to get uh, uh, some of these surrender. But it looks like there's too many. Uh, too many long range units for him, or at least a couple, uh, one, one long range unit that'll stop him, so he probably has to go across there. But he does put smokes and he might smoke things up, maybe he has to get some surrenders. Now this, uh, let's see if Neff can actually see this storm line, and he doesn't, but so he's just doing an attack move here, and he might just come across to these uh, guys and just get deleted right away. He's gonna get killed off. He is behind enemy, enemy lines, so not really going to get... Oh, actually, no, he is in his own area. So, yeah, that could have been a surrender quite easily. But he just killed him right away. Uh, barrage is still going down, so that's just uh, locked everything down and Neff surrenders. Okay, interesting game. Um, let's see, team score. Um, Neff was still ahead, but um, but I think he saw that he uh, basically lost... Uh, Lost on the flanks and lost in the town with the Nebel Warfers coming down constantly on top of him. So not much he could have done with, uh, with just infantry alone. Um, but uh, so he gave up on that. Um, KD ratio, uh, roughly uh, 2 to 1, so pretty good on uh, Duro's part. Uh, let's see which uh, which were the, the prized units here. So on Neff's side, it looks like, uh, looks like the Centaurs probably did the most damage. Um, they are the they are 1200 uh, meter units, uh, 1200 range, uh, meter range unit. So it does make sense that those are going to be the best fire support, especially in phase. You can bring those out in phase A. So it makes sense to to keep them at that 1200 meter range, so nothing can shoot back at them. So those are the stars uh, MVPs over on uh, Neff's side. Then over on Duro's side, then let's see here. <laughs> Looks like the Nebel Werfer. So the Neville Warfare, uh, there's another Neville Warfare right there, just got one unit. Uh, yeah, looks like Neville Warfare, and that one uh, probably got the credit because it stunned up a bunch of stuff, and maybe there were some surrenders associated to that, but uh, a couple of units were just basically cooking there in the, in the fire and dying. So yeah, uh, that really helped out uh, with the top flight uh, because uh, the infantry just couldn't go anyplace. Yeah, that's it for uh, this week. Uh, let's see. Uh, see what else we got in the future.